This simple crossword puzzle has made over $193,000 in passive income. And in today's video, I'll show you how to launch a similar business starting from generating the idea, the main content, to generating high quality illustrations for this product. And all of that will be done by using the power of AI tools and technology. If you're interested in making passive income from this, keep watching till the end, because this video contains valuable information you will not find anywhere else on YouTube. Literally. There is not a single video on YouTube talking about how to make these types of puzzles using AI. A few days ago, I came across this idea when I was playing around with ChatGPT. I was looking for potential products that could be automated using AI technology, and then I found this crossword book. And I was in shock about the types of numbers these sellers were making. Take this crossword book for example. It is 2,771 ratings. Yet when I cross-referenced it with an Amazon scouting website, I found this book was getting 492 sales per month. Multiply that by the price of $7.99, and you get $3,900 of profit every single month. And this store has been up for almost 5 years, I meaning they could have sold over $204,000 worth of crosswords. Let's see another puzzle book. This crossword has 4,300 ratings with 372 sales per month, meaning this book makes a whopping $3,700 every single month. And the craziest thing is you can create a similar thing for 100% free. But the basic crossword market is dominated by large companies such as USA Today and the New York Times. So I went to Etsy to check out some puzzle books on there and see if I could find under the radar puzzle niches. And I found it right away. One of the first results for crosswords when searching on Etsy is wedding crosswords. Now that had my attention. I didn't know wedding crossword books were a thing. And just to make sure I wasn't going crazy, I did a search engine check to figure out if wedding crossword books was actually the second most searched topic on Etsy. For this, I decided to use Everbee, and holy moly it was. Normal crosswords had a search volume of 413 with 6,695 competing products, yet with wedding crosswords, there were 192 searches and only 550 competition. So wedding crosswords have one half the search volume and one twelfth the competition. So I decided, okay, why not create a similar puzzle using ChatGPT and publish it on Etsy? And then we can generate some pretty serious passive income. But in order to be profitable, we must stand out. Most of wedding crosswords on Etsy were digital downloads where the consumer can edit the template via Canva and change it to their liking. And hey, it's a great business idea. Have the customer do all the work for you and label it as DIY. But like many of you, I don't know the first thing about creating a crossword puzzle. So that is how we will stand out. We'll have a digital download, same as everyone else, but we will also provide a list of starter questions to help people create the crossword and bond with their spouse. And just for that extra spice, we will also use AI to make a short video on how to edit the Canva template, as a lot of people are probably going to be struggling with that. That's a lot to do. So let's first start with one of the most important parts, the questions. This is where we will use ChatGPT. I asked for a list of 20 crossword questions for a wedding. Some of them were pretty good, some of them really weren't. Like, why is there a question about ostriches? It's a wedding. But after some tuning, I got all 20 prompter questions. Next, we need to figure out the style of the crossword. What colors to include, what theme, that sort of stuff. Again, I asked ChatGPT for the most popular colors, themes, fonts, etc. And here is what I got. For the color theme, I'm going to be using blush, gold, and lilac. As for the fonts, I'm going to be using Amsterdam 4 plus Playfair. Now we'll head over to Canva and actually make our design. Go to the templates option and simply search crossword puzzle and choose one that you'd like. The first thing I'm going to be doing is changing up the background and the color scheme. I decided to make the background a rose color and then any element added would be a gold color while the actual text would be lilac. After we dealt with the scheme, I decided to change the format from a 9x16 to a 16x9. If you want to do this, simply copy the entire design and then make a new template with the dimensions you wish and then just paste your design into that resized format. Next, I changed the questions at the bottom to the ones we generated from ChatGPT. And I adjusted the fonts, colors, and the spacing so it would fit a little bit better because it was now a lot wider. But even after changing up all that stuff, there was still too much dead space so I added some flowers and some ribbons to brighten up the design. Another big issue was we had 20 questions, and yet there were only 16 slots in the crossword. 
So I added four more lines of varying lengths from four to six letters. And by the end of the process, we had a crossword that looks something like this. Not too shabby. Now all this left is to download the crossword as a PDF. That's pretty easy. And we now need to make the video on how to use Canva. All you'll need for this is OBS and a mic, or if you don't feel comfortable talking into a mic, just use murph.ai and paste in the script, that way you don't actually need to talk. But once you have OBS ready, hit start recording and make a quick two minute video on how to use Canva from uploading the file into Canva to editing the boxes to changing the colors. It should look something like this. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is simple. You want to open up your file explorer or wherever you downloaded it and go to the download. In this case, I have mine right here. You're going to log into Canva, hit create new design, hit import file. Now, I don't need to bore you with the entire two minute long video, but I think you get gist. If you record the video and need to cut some parts out of the video, I'd recommend using Pictory AI, NVIDIA, Shotcut, or iMovie if you're on Mac, as all those softwares are 100% free. If you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe, like, and go check out some of my other videos. Either way, I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.